Log in to Mahara using your student ID and password. Click on the Individual Achievement Map group. The home page has material guiding you in the preparation of your ePortfolio. Click on the first link and read the material. Work through the pages. There will be some links in the text which will take you to new pages. Some of the links will be links to documents for downloading. You should save the document to your disk or pen drive. Create a new folder for the ePortfolio Pilot if you haven't already. The file won't take long to download. Switch to Windows Explorer usually under Accessories. Browse to where you saved the file. Before you open the file, give it a name which links it with you. For example, you could add your initials and date. Open the file. You will probably need to enable editing at the top of the page. You would read the document and complete the work in your own time. Save the file. Close the file. If the file is open when you upload it, Mahara will treat it like a zip file. Remember where the file is located. Switch back to Mahara. Click on the Content tab and then on Files. Create a new folder for your ePortfolio documents. Click on the name to move within the folder. Click on Browse to upload the file. Clicking on the file name will open or download it. Click on Portfolio to create a new page in order to share the file. Click on the Create Page button. You'll probably want to give the page an appropriate title. Remember to click Save. You can change the layout of a page if you like. It is currently set to three columns. If you do choose another layout, remember to click Save at the foot of the page. The tabs in the middle of the page are used for placing content. Choose the Files, Images and Video tab. Drag the Files block down into the content area and release. A dialog box opens up and you can browse to your file. Click the Select button on the right, followed by Save. Click Done when you're finished with the page. Clicking on the page name will open it. Clicking on the pencil icon will edit it and the X button will delete it. The next step is to share the page. Click on the Edit Access button. The three buttons at the top are all fairly public. If you use the Friends button, the page is shared with all of your friends. 
it is likely that you will have some pages which you would want to share with the whole of the ePortfolio group. If you want to share with specific people, such as a tutor, click the link Share with other users and groups. You can search for people or you can select a name from the list and click Add. You can enter dates to make the page available for a certain day or week. Clicking the X will remove this person's name. Remember to save. I shall log out and log in as myself to see if I can access this page. I can now log in as myself. Go into the ePortfolio Pilot Group. Click on Shared Pages. Open the page and access the file. But only because I'm a member of the group.